Welcome to Cooking with Cobb. I'm Jeff Cobb, I'm your host, and tonight we're going to be cooking baked haddock with roasted asparagus and white rice. A lot of people are afraid to cook fish. They think that it's difficult. It's not. It's really easy. The first thing that we're going to do tonight, though, is we're going to prepare the asparagus. I have already prepped the asparagus. I've cut off the ends and I've washed it and we are about ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have them right here in my oven pan. The first thing I'm going to do is drizzle them with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And you can see we got a pretty good coating. Just make sure that there's plenty there and I like to get a little bit up there on the crowns of the asparagus as well. It makes it kind of crispy and nice. Now I'm going to hit it with some uh, sea salt, just a little bit. Again, this will tend to help it become crispy. And then finally, I'm going to use some Romano cheese. You can use Romano, you can use you can use Parmesan, whatever you tend to like. I tend to like this kind. It's a little bit easier to manage, and I like the flavor of the Romano. I've been using Stella Romano. It's good stuff. It's a nice, it's a nice product. Okay, we're about ready. <clears throat> as soon as the oven preheats to 350, we're going, to put, we're going to put this right in the oven. Okay, the asparagus is in the oven. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees. And now, we're going to get ready to make the fish. And to begin with, we take our crackers and we crush them up into small pieces. My, my brand of choice is Keebler uh, Townhouse Original Crackers. These are really nice. They're kind of light. And, uh, but they still have a kind of a buttery flavor to them. So that we're going to crush a bunch of these up right now. And you don't have to worry about whether you make them too, too chunky or too fine. It'll all even out in the end. And it's been my experience that most people kind of like quite a, quite a few cracker crumbs on their on their uh, on their fish. So I try not to skimp. There we go. I think we're, we've, we've got about enough crackers prepared. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our fish on the baking sheet and get that ready. Okay, I have about two and a quarter pounds of haddock fillets here that we're going to bake. But before we put them in the oven, we're going to prepare the baking pan. And I use a canola oil spray and give it a nice light spray of that. Then it simply comes down to laying the haddock fillets on the baking sheet. And this looks like pretty nice, nice haddock. You can use cod, you could use pollock, you could use almost any white fish for this. Haddock is one of my favorites. So we've got it all laid out nicely on the pan. And the next thing that we're going to do is coat it generously with the cracker crumbs. The cracker crumbs will make it all the cracker crumbs will make it all nice and, and crunchy. 
And wait till you see what I do next. We're going to use up all of these cracker crumbs. There. We're all set with the cracker crumbs. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put some pats of butter right on top of the fish fillets. And I make kind of generous pats of butter. And this will make the topping nice and crispy. As you can see, I've used about half a stick of butter on these two fillets. That should be good. Now I'm going to pop them in the oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm uh, I'm going to leave them in there for 30 minutes. And there we go. All right then, our rice is done. So I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna put a big pat, generous pat of butter in there. And I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sea salt. And now I'm gonna stir it up. And I want the heat, the residual heat in the rice to melt the butter into the rice. And once I've got that all stirred up, I'm going to put a cover back on it, and I'm going to put it back on top of the range so it'll be all ready when our fish and asparagus are ready to be served. See you in a few minutes. Okay, now that everything's in the oven, I thought I'd just recap some of the things we used to make the fish and the asparagus. To begin with is the olive oil. I particularly like this brand. It's Greek, um, and it's available in many supermarkets across the nation. Townhouse crackers are a real favor, favorite uh, by Keebler, and I think these are available just about anywhere in the United States. The cooking spray that I use is Great Value brand from Walmart. It's as good as any other that I've used, and it's very easy to come by. I believe Land O'Lakes Butter is nation, a nationwide brand. It's from Wisconsin, and it's a very high-quality butter. Haynes Sea Salt is available at Walmart. It's iodized, which I think is a good thing, and it's available across the country at Walmart. And of course, we've spoken before about Minute Rice. Minute Rice is avail readily available in just about every retail outlet that you can imagine. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna check to see how the uh, fish and asparagus look. Oh yeah, they're done. Here we go. Right here we have the fish. It's all ready to go. And now, the asparagus. As you can see, it's kind of crispy. The cheese is melted. This is going to be a wonderful dinner. So, our rice is ready. As you can see, it's all ready to go, along with the fish and the asparagus. So, now I'm going to cut a wedge of lemon. 
Always nice to have a wedge of lemon with your fish. Place that on the plate like that. I'm going to take some of this nicely roasted asparagus and place that on the plate. And then next, we're going to take some of this beautiful fish and plate that as well. Maybe just a little bit more. And there we go. There's supper tonight. Roasted asparagus, fish, a lemon wedge. And some lovely rice to go with it. Now, tonight I used minute rice. It's really simple to make. It takes about five minutes. All you have to do is boil water, put the rice in, stir it up, and take it off the heat. And in five minutes you have some nice fluffy white rice. From my kitchen to yours, enjoy. Enjoy.